Introduction to Personal Protective Equipment Personal Protective Equipment is equipment that will protect the user against a health or safety risk at work. That involve head protection, hand protection, eye protection, hearing protection, body protection, foot protection, respiratory protection and fall protection. Why it is important to wear PPE? Even though engineering controls and safe system of work apply, there will be some hazards that may remain. That is, injuries to lungs caused by breathing contaminated air, injuries to head and feet due to falling objects, injuries to eyes by flying particles or splashes from corrosive materials, injuries to the skin due to contact with corrosive materials, injuries to body due to extremes of heat and cold. Here are some PPE that we can use to protect us against those hazards. We can use hard hats for head protection, we can use gloves for hand protection, we can use safety glasses for eye protection, we can use earplugs or earmuffs for hearing protection. We can use coveralls for body protection and reflective jackets for high visibility. We can use safety shoes for foot protection. We can use dust mask for respiratory protection. And we can use a full body harness to protect us from falling during work at night. Hard Heads The European name for Hard Heads is EM397. Hard heads are used to protect the wearer's head from falling objects. Hard heads are mandatory in most industries such as construction. High visibility clothing. The European norm for high visibility clothing is EN471. High visibility clothing is of three classes: class 1, class 2, class 3. Class 1 is mostly used in construction, working inside a company premises, where there is a maximum speed limit of 30 km per hour. Class 2, mostly used in public roads, day and night times, where there is a maximum speed limit of 50 km per hour. Class 3, mostly used in public roads, day and night, where there is a speed limit of 90 km per hour. Protective clothing or gowns. Protective coveralls are used for body protection during hazardous work activities. The main purpose is to protect the worker from chemical, biological, mechanical, thermal, electromagnetic, and electrical hazards. Different types of coveralls are used for different types of activities. Foot protection. The European norm for foot protection is EN345. Safety shoes are used to protect the feet from falling objects, punctures, cutting hazard, electrical hazard, slip strips and falls. Different types of safety shoes are used in different types of work environment. Hand protection. The European norm for hand protection is EN388. Hand protection are used to protect the viewer's hand from sharp edges, pin points, rotator machinery, hot objects, electricity, splinters, chemicals, and more. The selection of correct hand protection is very important. Hearing protection. The European norm for hearing protection is EN352. Hearing protections are used to protect the inner ear while working in noisy environment. The most common type of PPE are earplugs and earmuffs. Eye protection. The European norm for eye protection is EN 166. Eye protections are used to protect eyes from serious hazards such as dust, flying particles, splashes from corrosive materials. 
mostly used PPE or safety glasses and goggles. Eye and face protection. The face protection such as face visor, face shields are used to protect the wearer's face from flying sparks, grids, etc. Face shields are mostly used for welding and cutting activities. In the other hand, face protection are used by operators, those who operate grinding equipment, machine operators, boiler workers, grid blasters, ship fitters, burners and more. The selection of face protection depends upon the task being carried out. Respiratory protection. The European norm for respiratory protection is EN149. Respiratory protection devices or equipment are used to protect the wearer from inhaling hazardous substances and dust during execution of activities or while cleaning. The mostly used common PPE is dust masks and respiratory protective equipment. Fall protection. The European norm for fall protection is EN361. The full body harness is one of the followers equipment to protect the wearer falling from height. Full body harness consists of straps passed over the shoulders, across the chest and around the legs. The harness distributes the force of impact over a greater area of your body. Anchorage points in inspection of safety harnesses are very important for you to use. Inspection and maintenance of personal protective equipment. The user must inspect their own personal protective equipment prior to every use. Do not store PPE in places that are likely to get damaged, such as storing in a direct sunlight, wet conditions, sparks from welding. Always follow the manufacturer's specifications on usage, storage, and maintenance. Thank you so much for watching.